What's up, everybody? I'm working on another target. This target uh, I have not done in about since I first started astrophotography. This one is the Heart Nebula. My guy, look at my guiding tonight. 0. 0.74. That's pretty good. Uh, new location. Um, also, what I did was before I started, I went to my dark library here with my guiding and did a recreate a new dark library. It's been a while since my other house. That's the last time I've done it. Even though I have not changed my guide camera, guide scope, or anything. So let me just redo it and. Looks like my numbers have really dropped down. Maybe because I'm the, the position of the sky that I'm pointing to. I don't know, but numbers are real good. I have not rebalanced everything since my last two nights out. But numbers are looking real good right here for the AVX. And this is what the heart nebula looks like. Do a high stretch. This is HA, hydrogen alpha. You can see the heart right here. You can see the fish head right here. But um, with this scope, since it has a little bit less focal length than my previous 80 millimeter, uh, you can see I have more of the heart that actually fits in here. So I'm going to see how this thing comes out. Let me zoom in and see how these stars look because I did not look at anything when it did the autofocus. I went in the house because it's like, right now it's like 28 degrees outside. Tonight it's going down to, um, I think, 19 degrees Fahrenheit or 20, right up in there. But either way, it's going to be cold. So hopefully, if I calculate everything correctly, I can get this target uh, majority of the night without it. Right now, it's right above my house, the location in the sky. And if I calculate it correctly, it looks like I should clear my house in the next few hours and it should go all the way to like maybe 2 o'clock in the morning. But if it doesn't, if it bumps into the house, then this course is going to abort and fail, and then I got to go out and probably bring it back in. Haven't made my mind up yet if I'm going to pick another target to do tonight from about um, later on until like 4 a.m. because it's supposed to be clear all night long and it's supposed to be clear tomorrow night. Hopefully, that's true for tomorrow night but it's been a long time since we've had two clear nights in a row since i've done astrophotography we had clear nights when i first moved here but i had too much stuff going on and unpacking and all that kind of stuff so hopefully i get this target in everything works out oh let me show what i'm actually doing so I'm, it's about six hours and 52 minutes so basically seven hours I just did uh, pick 60 frames at 180 seconds and 60 frames for um, 03 and sulfur at two minutes each. So it's right at seven hours. Um, Let's we'll see if it works out. I don't know. You can see right now the temperature's dropping down. It's about two degrees Celsius according to the um, the autofocuser temperature probe. But either way, we'll see if it works out. If it doesn't, hey, it doesn't. I'll switch to something else. But guiding still looks pretty good. I think a dither is about to run now. I think I have dither set to every three frames or so, if I'm not mistaken. I think it's three frames. Well, that's it. That's all I have for right now, and hopefully the skies stay clear. All right, everybody. Everything ran good last night. It's 19 degrees Fahrenheit outside right now. Coming in to bring the gear back in. And that's it. Hopefully the heart nebula looks good. I finished up with uh, the Orion Nebula that switched over around one o'clock in the morning and imaged to about four o'clock and we'll see how that will process and come out.